just, 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 I'm going to be looking at slides on my computer. This is my iPad. I'm going to be looking at my computer. So I won't be looking at you, but know that I'm acknowledging your presence up front. Is that fair? always go off at really bad times. Always remember and never forget that pulmonary disease can mimic musculoskeletal symptomatology. This is the most important reason why we study chest radiology to help differentiate. Even though they both depict the same anatomy, a chest film Which means 
inches. With the thoracic spine film, it's only 40 inches focal film distance. Oh yeah. Chest films are taken posterior to anterior B to A, which means you're facing, um, the x-ray is shooting into your back and it's coming out your front into the bookie. Thoracic spine films are taken A to B, which means you're facing the x-ray machine. And chest films can use a grid in the bookie or not. And a thoracic spine film does require a grid. Don't ask why, it just does. Okay. As a matter of fact, these notes are going to explain some of the reasons that uh, you might be wondering. A chest film is an under-penetrated, under-exposed version of the thoracic spine film, and a thoracic spine film is an over-penetrated, over-exposed version of the chest film. You cannot get both sets of information from either film because they show different things. We want to learn about the chest film, and we start by comparing it to the thoracic spine film because they are already familiar with the thoracic film. And so we start with what we know. In order to fully understand the chart above, we have to review the meat and potatoes of x-ray physics. Meat and potatoes, folks. That's what it says. You need to know some x-ray physics if you are to go, if you are going to take x-rays in your practice. I have to know x-ray physics before I x-ray you. So we ain't just a bunch of dummies pushing buttons like monkeys on a machine. <sighs> because that's radiation. If you get too much radiation, you will die. So you're going to need a lot of 
folks, apparently there's a concept I did not understand, so let's see where. that will produce the same scale of contrast. For example, it doesn't take 80 kVB to get through a hand, which is only about 3 to 4 centimeters thick. Rather, 50 kVB is sufficient to generate photons with enough energy to penetrate the 3 to 4 centimeters of thickness of a hand. However, the thoracic spine and the tissue around it measures roughly 34 centimeters of tissue thickness. At 50 kVB, none of the photons in the beam would have enough energy to get through that kind of thickness. As such, the optimum kVB for the spine is slightly higher. There is an optimum kVB for every part of the body, and lucky as someone already figured out what it is for every body part. It is really very simple.
full inspiration versus suspended breathing. So if you remember, on a chest x-ray, you need full inspiration, take a deep breath and hold, or expiration, let it all out and hold, versus suspended breathing, which means just stop breathing, hold your breath. Thoracic spine films work if you just have the patient stop breathing wherever they are in the breathing cycle, even though we were taught that it must be full inspiration. However, the chest films must be taken at full inspiration. If the patient is not at full inspiration when you push the button, the film may need to be retaken. Certain things can look pathological if there is not full inspiration. For example, the measurement of the heart must be taken at full inspiration. If they breathe out, then the diaphragm moves. And since the heart is attached to the diaphragm, it ends up looking larger than it really is. There is a film called an expiration chest film, which is a specialized view done only after the full inspiration film has been looked at. For example, diaphragmatic excursion can be evaluated with these two opposing views.
would really screw up our tubes. So 40 inches is a compromise. Less than 40 inches would be too magnified or distorted. And more than 40 inches would make your tube too hot. Now you understand the compromise. That's why most films are done at 40 inches. for students. 